Hey guys, this is Charlie, the offbeat picker. I'm a full-time reseller, which means I sell stuff online to make a living. And today we're going to look at the few things that I sold on eBay the week of July 3rd through the 9th. Here's my sales report. As you can see, I did $411 worth of sales that week. The selling cost was $122. So I have a net sales that week of $260. I sold 13 items, which is less than what I sold the week before, but it was more money than what I made the week before. So less items, more money is definitely the way to go. Let's see. The first item that I sold is, this is a Fiesta set of plush. These are Lubby Cubbies. They're very small with shiny glitter eyes, kind of like a Beanie Boo. This was a starfish and an octopus. And so I decided to lot them together and sell them as a set of ocean animals. I actually got these at a dollar store for a dollar a piece. And I was able to sell the set of two, I want to say for $16. This says 20, but that's how much I had them listed for. I took an offer of $16. I actually thought these were so cute that when I sold a set, I decided to take a set down and keep a set. That's just who I am. Next we have, this is a spirit horse from the Netflix show. Um, this is Lucky and Spirit. So I think the girl's name is Lucky and the horse's name is Spirit. I could be wrong. I don't know. All I do know is that this sold for $25. Um, I got this at Walmart on clearance for $5. So 25 bucks for a crush box toy. Not a bad sale. Next, we have a hat. This is an American needle hat that just said Brooklyn across it. It just had a really cool pattern on the bill of it. Anytime I find hats that just look interesting or are new or are a certain team or a certain place, just things people are interested in, those are the kind of hats that sell. This hat actually sold for $20. This is a Dollywood bat. How cool is this? I saw this from afar at Goodwill and I was like, ooh, giant bat, because I have a friend that loves bats. And I thought, giant bats, I got to look at these. And then I realized they were Dollywood souvenirs. So I was like, okay, she's not going to want those, but eBay is going to want those. So I got these bats. I bought a green one and a blue one at the same time. I actually still have the blue one for sale. I think I paid $5 a piece, which is a bit much for a plush. But these were really large. They're actually, let's see if I can pull up the size. They were 13 inches tall and just about 13 inches wide. They have very large heads, as you can see. But they're a Dollywood souvenir from the theme park in Pigeon Forge. And I was able to sell it for $36 on a best offer. This is a NRA pin. This is one of those pins they give you when you donate money and they send it to you for being a member. This pin sold for $12 free shipping. Next, we have a Lego set. This is the same Mario set that I sold in my last What Sold video. I'm still upset that I sold these for so cheap. I should have held out for more money, but sometimes I get impatient and I just want to turn my money over quickly. And so I let things go quicker than I should. So I actually sold two of these this week, one for $18.99 and one for $17.99. Next, we have a Nissan hat. This is just a basic gray hat that says Nissan on it. I've actually sold two of these. I like to put the keyword mechanic or employee in the title. It looks like I left out the word employee this time, but I did put mechanic. And it sold for $15 free shipping. I have sold multiple of these. So if you see a Nissan hat for $2 or less, I suggest picking it up. Next, we have a set of Squishmallows. This is the Hocus Pocus Sanderson Sisters. And I actually sold this set for $65. Next, this is just a marathon gas sign. It's one of those tin metal signs you hang up on the wall, maybe in like a man cave or a garage. This sign, I actually picked up the dig bin for $2 and it sold for $20 free shipping. Next, we have a frozen Kristoff doll. This is the 
boy from Frozen. I like picking these up. I've I found them several times actually. And they go for good money because the boy dolls are not as common as the girl dolls. So this is just a little like six inch plush and he sold for $20. Last, but certainly not least, we have a Beanie Boo. For those of you that think beanies don't sell, we have a Beanie Boo. I actually sold two of these to one person and they paid $30 for the set. So don't look down on beanies. People do still buy them, especially the Beanie Boos more than the Beanie Babies especially sparkly shiny ones um, people love the owls and the dragons I think they have some of the biggest collectors out there want those but don't ever count out a brand just because people say to count out a brand you should always look up individual items check comps and decide for yourself whether or not it's worth selling so not a lot of sales that week um, but something's better than nothing so because there was so few sales that week, I'm thinking I'm going to include another week of sales on this video. So now we're going to look at what I sold on eBay the week of July 10th through the 16th. That week I had $257 worth of sales. The selling cost was $76 and it gave me a net sales of $168. Again, we had 13 items sold. First item is a Polaroid hat. It said, take a picture, it'll last longer. I got this at a dig bin for $2. And this hat actually sold for $16. Next, I have to talk about this Lego set again, because on this week, I sold three sets of these Legos. So I was eager to sell them fast, and I sold them fast, and I regret it. Next, this is a Vera Bradley wallet. Um, I've mentioned before, in case you didn't know, you can use Google Lens if you need to know which pattern it is. Um, this was actually attached to a bigger purse, so I paid one price and got two things to list, which is a good idea. This was just the little bitty wallet type bag, and it actually sold for $18. Next, we have a Mickey Mouse hat. This was a Mickey Mouse golf hat. It was just super cute great condition if I was a golfer I'd wear this hat um, it sold for $16 next we have a DVD I don't really know anything about this I just know if you're looking at DVDs and it's new and sealed it's probably worth looking up so I had no idea what this is but it was new I looked it up it sold before. I figured why not? And I was able to sell it fairly quickly. I think within two weeks of listing for $15 free shipping. Next, we have a Yoshi hat. I actually got this at Walmart marked down for $2. So I had multi quantity of it and it actually sold for $16. Next, we have a Princess Diana doll. This was one of those things you pick up and then you kind of regret it. I bought this at Goodwill for, I believe, $4, which is a lot, but I was kind of on a doll shopping frenzy that day. I went into Goodwill and they had all kinds of dolls and a lot of them were vintage and old and interesting and it was just overwhelming. I didn't have time to look all of them up and I just figured I would grab what I thought was worth getting. I did make a small profit off this doll. But when I got home and inspected it, I did realize that it had some marks on it and it did have a chip on its foot because parts of this doll were porcelain. So you should really pay more attention to things like that. But you win some, you lose some. At least I didn't lose money on this sell. So I'm glad someone that wanted it now has it. This, on the other hand, was a great pickup. This was another doll that I bought on the same day. This cost me $5. Not all Cabbage Patch Kids dolls are worth a ton of money, but some of them are worth great money. So it really just depends. Each one is a case-by-case -case basis. You should look it up. Don't believe people that say don't touch Cabbage Patch. Don't believe people that say they're worth tons of money. Buy all the Cabbage Patch. 
this one was actually worth a lot of money because it was a boy and it was actually the Asian version of a Cabbage Patch Kids doll. You can tell by the eyes and the hair color. Um, he was just a super cute doll. He had some stains and marks, but he's rare, so hard to find. I actually listed him for $100 and someone offered me $45. I was willing to take that. That's a very good price for a Cabbage Patch doll. And the girl who ordered it was very excited. She gave me very good feedback. She was very happy to get him. So I'm glad that he went to a home where someone really wanted him. The last item we have is just some little floaties that I got on clearance after summer. I think I paid a dollar for these and they sold for $16 free shipping. I like selling in all categories, as you can tell. So that's two weeks of sales. Not a lot of items, but you have to remember I sell on multiple platforms. So this is just one end of the spectrum. I also sell on Mercari. I now sell on Etsy and Bonanza. I sell on Amazon, which is where I make the bulk of my money. So please don't look at my eBay sales and go, she's not making any money because I promise I know what I'm doing. So that's what the first two weeks of July look like for me. Not a ton of sales, but a few things, not too shabby. Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite thing I sold? What's the dumbest thing I sold? Do you sell these kinds of items? Do you think I should niche down and just sell one kind of item? Or do you like the fact that I sell everything under the sun? Um, leave me a thumbs up, please. I'd really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, feel free to subscribe. I plan on making lots more videos. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.